earlier today, a client told me this. Uh, I take notes on this notebook. It was a paper notebook. And on that flip chart, he pointed to a flip chart. I then take a picture with Evernote. And although I have no clue where inside Evernote that picture is, I can always find that information. That's amazing, right? <laughs> uh, he then asked me, am I normal? <laughs> is this normal? I know him. This was not our first session. I know how he thinks. And I told him, not only is this normal, but it's the perfect thing to do in your case. Pin that for a moment. We'll get back to my client soon. For now, let's talk about organization. I see two groups of people here. The ones who enjoy organizing, some love. There's a lot of pleasure there. And the other group just wants to find. It can be information, an object, but they just want to find. They need that and they want to find it. And they not find, but have access to it when they need it. Okay. And I would say that both groups, all, all they want is that. Some see organizing things very well as a way to get there. Others usually don't find it because they don't organize it unless you're using an app like Evernote, but Evernote didn't exist in the past. So there are these two groups. And I'd say that the ones who don't organize, they are a much larger group. You can test that. You can do it. It's a very simple empirical test to do. Just think of your family members, uh, your friends, and even your coworkers. How many of them do you think or do you know that use some sort of methodology, some uh, a productivity <laughs> magic system from one of those uh, online gurus. How many of them do that? Unless you work with this, with organization, with productivity, I'd bet that the number of people who actually organize, who intentionally organize is very small, isn't it? Okay, back to my client. In today's session, he was complaining about a problem. He has all his tasks and his calendar on Google. He, he uses Google Workspace like I do. And by the way, if you want to try Google Workspace, please use my affiliate link below. And he has all this notes, all this information about the meetings and everything on Evernote. And it's disconnected. And this person is a CEO of a not a large corporation, but a medium size, a, a, a good size corporation. He has a lot of meetings. He has a lot of things to do, a lot of things to deal with. And he had this system where things were disconnected. Of course, you already know where I'm going with this. And I had also, I, I told him this in the past, but he had to do it on his time. That's why we, uh, I, I had to go back to the drawing board and start from scratch. And, and that's why I told him, just take notes, take notes, uh, whatever you take your notes and save the, those notes. He now understands how valuable those notes are, how that, not the notes, but being able to f easily find the notes, but he's now feeling this, this connection. So I told him what I'm going to tell you now, I don't believe in tasks because they have these two big problems. One of the problems is so hard to, to deal with. Uh, it, it's the, it's the it, we as humans, we have this a very hard time estimating time, how long it will take to do something. So we tend to, I don't know, uh, assign two, three, four, ten tasks for tomorrow and another ten for the day after tomorrow and so on. And we, when we do this and we arrive at tomorrow and we can't do the tasks, we postpone those tasks and this becomes a snowball. It never ends. So this is a big problem. Another problem is this, this connection. 
tasks. They need context. It's impossible to write a very detailed uh, plan in a task. It, it, you need the context. In, in context, it's not a group, a space. Context is information, is everything, the note take, everything related to the task. That's context. And that's what we need to accomplish a task. And again, you know where I'm going with this. So I told him, let's use every note. That's the perfect, keep using every note, not use every note, but keep using every note. That's the perfect app for you. And when I told him again, because <laughs> I had told him this in the past, when I told him again that he could create the tasks inside the notes, and even more than that, he could click the transcribe button to transcribe whatever he took a picture of from the, the, the notebook, from the flip chart, and have that text to, I don't know, elaborate on it or copy and paste that text, but create the task there. And then I showed him again <laughs> the tasks kingdom, the space on the mobile phone where the tasks are and also on the desktop. Uh, uh, he's, he's more a mobile person. He's always on, on the phone. So that's why uh, I'm talking a lot, a lot about the phone, the pictures and everything like that. But I told him, Let, let's do this. So let's, let, let's simulate this. Take a picture of your flip chart and then transcribe that information, take some more notes and create a task. Now tap the tasks on the bar, on the navigation bar on your phone. And when he tapped there, he saw the tasks. And then it's magical because everything connected. He said, I remember you talking about a calendar. You showed me everything connected from my Google Calendar, the tasks. And I said, yes. Okay, <laughs> but we're not going there yet just yet. You have to now learn how to add the tasks inside the notes where the context is. So I taught him, I explained to him that he could go to that tasks list and from there tap and go back to the note. So I've been talking about this here in the channel on my articles forever. That's how I think tasks have to work because you need that context. And again, a context is a lot of information. It's not just this type of task. You need all that to be able to do, to know what you have to do. So that is now where we are. This is the stage where we are. I told him, just create tasks. <laughs> create a lot of problems for yourself. I need a lot of tasks there. And from there, we'll create a system that will work for you. Okay, so this is uh, how I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, this is so simple, but this is how I feel about Evernote, how good that app is for people like him, for the majority of people, because you can simply capture information. You can simply write a task inside a note and do everything without thinking too much, without creating uh, too much structure and you always find the information. In the case of tasks, you see the tasks in a list of tasks. And today's session made me feel so good because although I'm not using Evernote anymore, I can't believe <laughs> I'm saying this, but I, I'm not using it. It's It's been a while. Uh, I love that app. It's I was not understanding what was happening to me because I knew that I still loved it. It's such a good app. It's such a great app. Such a, it's so good, but it's not good for me anymore. And that's and and that's uh, that's what I learned today from my client session. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling comfortable to talk to you about this. So I'll keep using Evernote for the majority of my clients. I'll keep teaching them. I, I think it's a, a fantastic app, but I need more. I am that person who wants to 
tweak things. I want to connect things. There, there are many videos here where I'm doing this with Obsidian, connecting a lot of things, using the, the folder structure, creating a lot of crazy workflows, unexpected workflows. You, you can learn more about my unexpected workflows here. So that's it. It's a fantastic, it's a terrific app, but it's not for me anymore. Maybe I changed. And if you are a supporter on Patreon or here on YouTube, you already know this. I've been talking about this for a while. If you like what I do here on the channel, please think about supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. And there's also the super tanks, a lot of things that you you can whoops, use here on YouTube to support my work. That's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.